Hey everyone, welcome to the monthly review. The monthly show on language learning, where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, new study tools, and discover new resources. By the way, you can download all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see right now on the website. So click the link in the description to sign up for your free lifetime account and start speaking in minutes. Okay, today's topic is a brutally honest way to improve your language. You're going to learn one, why tests are actually crucial for language progress, and two, how you can put yourself to the test. So if you're learning on your own and feel like you're not making any learning progress, it's likely you're taking it too easy. You're not reaching your full potential. So, an outside motivator, like a test, can and will fire you up and help you get better. You'll discover how in just a second. But first, listen up. Here are this month's new lessons and resources. First, can you talk about your home? With the brand new My House PDF Cheat Sheet, you'll be able to talk about your home and everything inside. Furniture, the different kinds of rooms, and much more. Download it for free, right now. Second, if you love travel, then you'll love this. The brand new Travel Words and Phrases PDF. Learn all the must-know travel phrases with this ebook. Download it for free, right now. Third, useful bank vocabulary. This one-minute lesson gives you all the must-know bank vocabulary so you can start talking about money in your target language. And fourth, school vocabulary. Can you talk about your school and the degree you have? This one-minute lesson will teach you to do just that. To get these free resources, click the link in the description below right now. Okay, let's jump into today's topic. A brutally honest way to improve your language. So, if you're learning a language on your own, do you ever feel like you're just coasting through without making real progress? Then it's possible that you're taking it a bit too easy. So, what should you do? Part 1. Why tests are crucial for language progress. The quick answers are 1. Tests give you an honest assessment of your language skills, and 2. Motivation. But let's break these down in full. If you've ever enrolled in a language school or taken a language class, you've probably taken a placement test. Based on your results, the teachers place you into an appropriate class. So tests can help you learn what's appropriate for your level. Tests also allow for ongoing assessment through things like weekly quizzes and tests every month. So what's the big deal with tests and quizzes? Even though some of us don't like tests, tests can give you honest assessments of your language skills in specific ways. For example, if you fail the listening part of a test, you know your weakness is there. If you forget a grammar pattern, you know you need to practice it more. But if you're learning alone, you might not get many testing opportunities and you may not be aware of mistakes you're making in your studies right now. You don't know what pieces you might be missing. Tests can give you opportunities to check your actual language skills, and sometimes they give you a brutal reality check. Now, the second benefit of tests is motivation. Think about it. As a self-learner, no one else is going to push you to do your best, and most people like to take it easy. So if you're wondering why you're not fluent yet, but you've been coasting along, learning words here and there, without actually testing your limits, consider that it might be because you haven't actually been testing and pushing yourself at all. Tests can give you that push, that challenge, that urgency to improve, that motivation. There's a specific date and time for the test. You have to be ready by that deadline. Just think back to the night before a test. You felt the urgency back then. You were motivated to pass. So this is exactly why a lot of self-learners take proficiency tests. It gives them something to aim for, something to be motivated about, something to achieve. Now, tests are not the complete answer to language learning, but they do give you a way to assess yourself and they give you a challenge. So what can you do as a self-learner? Part two, how you can put yourself to the test. Before you worry about failing, recognize that it's not about passing or failing. It's about getting an honest assessment of your progress. The first and most obvious thing you can do is sign up for a language proficiency test. There are many kinds of proficiency tests available, so you can pick the right one for you. Signing up will put you under added pressure and give you extra motivation to improve. This is something that's hard to do on your own. Second, if you're a Premium Plus member on our website, 
then you can get weekly assignments that put you to the test. These assignments are graded and you get feedback from your teacher so you know what to do to improve and how. The third thing you can do is come back and review. Once you're done with a lesson or pathway, download the dialogue tracks and review them at a later date. See how much you can understand. This tests your listening, plus your vocab and grammar. For speaking, record yourself with our voice recording tool and compare yourself to the native pronunciation. Remember, you can always self-test by coming back and seeing how much you understand. The fourth thing you can do is test yourself with a harder lesson. Think of it as trying to lift a heavier weight at the gym to see if you can do it. You can do this for reading, speaking, and listening. Simply go to a higher level, like intermediate or advanced, and try a lesson. With reading, you can also try our higher level extensive reading books. Again, remember, with all of this, the goal here is not a pass or fail result. The goal is to get an honest assessment of your language skills, what you know and what you don't know. If you realize that you're mispronouncing a certain word, you'll know how to correct it. If you can understand only 50% of a lesson, well, that means you should review it until you get to 100%. If you don't understand a lesson dialogue at all, which is where most people get intimidated, make it a goal to master the dialogue. Give yourself a goal to aim for. And if you can't read as smoothly as you had hoped, all it means is that you should give it a few more tries until you're better. So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time we'll talk about a seven minute, seven second rule for language learning success. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye.